Hey everyone, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today for this week's Friday Haul. It's Friday, April 8th. I hope you had a great week and that you're looking forward to the weekend. Everything is good here. I got a bunch of uh, good crafty things this week that I'm excited to share with you. So let's get started. Um, I only got a couple things at Dollar Tree, which are these. These are fabric fat quarters and they're very fall looking. They had a box full of different plaids like this. They had like a bright blue they had a red and black um, but it looks kind of like homespun to me so um, I thought it would be good for some like you know um, fall crafty projects or Halloween yeah it seems to be like it seems to be like homespun because it's the same pattern on the front and the back and it's kind of a looser weave very light cotton so I picked that up and then this one is, it feels like flannel to me. Actually, yeah, it is flannel. So um, yeah, I like this one a lot. I think this will be a good complement to, um, you know, some different fabrics, lighter fabrics, and this will make good gingerbread people, I'm thinking. So thinking ahead to fall and Christmas projects with those. Besides that, I really didn't get anything at Dollar Tree this week. Um, yeah, I don't know. There just haven't, there hasn't been that much there lately. So that's all I got. And I went to Hobby Lobby yesterday. I don't typically go there on um, Paper Studio <laughs> weeks, or I don't buy that much uh, on these weeks. But I did find a few clearance things in the uh, like sewing section. So I got this. This is a cute little tape dispenser. It was on clearance for $2.24 from $8.99. And it comes with two uh, rolls of like... I don't know, masking tape, I guess. It's not really washy, I don't think. But this is so cute. It was in like the embroidery section, you know, where they have all the embroidery floss. They had a bunch of like, um, they had embroidery hoops on clearance and some floss, not that much, and some other like needle art kind of things. But yeah, so this has two rolls in it, which is nice. And I was thinking, I think this is the one that I saw Anna, who is Serenity Creations, that she just picked up. Um, hi Anna if you're watching is this the one that you got it's really really cute so yeah it's it's pretty uh yeah it looks like masking tape so so cute right not that I needed a tape dispenser but I couldn't pass up that price and I thought maybe for washi or just for the masking tape it would come in handy so so I got that one and a couple more sewing themed things I got this compact it's just a mirror and it says do more of what makes you happy and this was reduced to 124. I thought this would be nice for my purse because I don't have a mirror in there. I mean, I usually use my phone for a mirror, but you know, it's nice to have an actual mirror too. And the last thing I got at Hobby Lobby was this pencil sharpener. And uh, I thought this would be really cute just to keep on my desk. I have a, um, like a electric pencil sharpener, but sometimes that kind of just like eats away at my pencils too much. So I thought I would try this for um, like my colored pencils. So from $2.99 to 74 cents, and it's like a, a floss bobbin. It says fine silk thread, just cute. So they had a bunch of this Artiste brand things on clearance, but I really just didn't need much, and uh, that's all I got from there. All right, so that's it from Hobby Lobby. Um, let's see what's next. Oh, scrapbook.com. I got uh, a few things from there. I saw they sent me an email that they had a new release from Creative Expression, so I had to go check them out. And I got a few stamp sets. This is the first one. And isn't that cute? I love like the primitive hearts. It's got like the stitching around it and the like, you know, hand drawn plaid it looks like. And then there's this heart and some cute sentiments that say you are loved, hugs and kisses, sending lots of love and from the heart. And this one, that's the number and the name of it if you're interested. And those are all the stamps. They're bigger than what it looks like on the, uh, on the front. So I like those a lot. I thought they should be good year round. And I needed a few more like sentiments and I'd like the fonts of these scripts and this typeset one is really nice too. And of course, being like a primitive heart set, I like that a lot. So there's that one. And then I got this one, which I just thought was adorable. Uh, it's called Hey Chick and that's the number. So <laughs> look at these chickens, aren't they adorable? There's this one and this one with the watering can and a little baby chick and it looks like a little heart for the wing. 
and it says Farm Fresh and some eggs and Hey Chick. And these are both designed by Sam Poole. So that's what the actual stamps look like. Nice big size, good for cards, I was thinking, or embellishments. And uh, yeah, and so they were new and, you know, they got me with their email. Speaking of new, I also picked up this new die set from Spellbinders. This is from their new release. They have a bunch of like um, pie themed things. So check them out if you like baking items as well. This one is called Skyview Pies, I guess. And it's by Tina Smith. Comes with seven cutting dies. Aren't those little pies so cute? And that says, you want a piece of me. I love that. So these are the dies it comes with and um, it says additional products used. All right, so it doesn't come with you want a piece of me. That's separate, I suppose, in a, in a uh, stamp set. But this comes with the, the pie and part to like make a cutout of your pie to look like a piece is cut out already. And um, I really like these like decorations for the top of your pie too. So very, very cute. Um, they had like uh, in different, like I said, different pie dies and I might go back and get those another time but I was trying to be good and just get one at this time so super cute right and also from uh, scrapbook.com this was the free gift and these are little like flat back gold jemmies from Pink Fresh Studios and they're metallic pearls gold but they are flat back which is nice so I have, sometimes I need some like just gold decoration. So this will really come in handy. I like when the free gift is something I really like, you know. And then this is a new paper pad from Paper Rose. And it is called Sunny Days Patterns. Six by six paper collection, 18 double-sided pattern papers, three each of 12 designs. So I haven't opened it yet. I thought we would do that together. Um, nice for summer projects. So let's take a look. Okay, so there's that page, kind of, eh, you know, fine. And then the back has smaller polka dots. This page has just a little bit bigger scale polka dots. Really pretty, like, watercolor images. And these are matte, too, which I really like. Um, sometimes Paper Rose, I think, right? Paper Rose is kind of glossy, but these aren't. And then there's that design on the back of that cute little butterflies really really like these colors very summery and then these are little balloons and even smaller balloons that look like polka dots but i think they're balloons and then there's this like floral or viney pattern oh and it's got cherries on the back i love that one and then a little floral nice small scale floral and that's a pretty botanical print there and this one is so cute. These fruits, I just love fruit papers. Cherries, watermelons, apples, pears. Looks like green apples too. Red and green apples. And then ice cream cones. They're all like uh, greens and yellows and pinks and reds. And it looks like that's the repeat. Yeah. So yeah, I thought that was cute and a nice summer collection to get. And that one again is called Sunny Days Patterns. I think there were other new patterns too from Paper Rose. So you might want to check them out if you like that kind of thing too. All right. And then I got a few, just two uh, 12 by 12 papers. These are repurchases, but I love this print. It's a chicken print from Farmhouse Kitchen from Echo Park Paper. And um, Echo Park. I don't know why I said it weird like that, but uh, yeah, I love, love, love these chickens. They're adorable, and I thought this would be good to go with that chicken stamps that I got. And that's the back of it, just kind of like a goldy print. So, and it's called, sorry, Hungry Hens. So, two of those. And that is what I got from scrapbook.com. So, yeah, cute stuff. I think uh, I had some sort of a coupon too. So, you know, they make it uh, easy for you to order for sure, especially sending you emails and texts when they have new stuff. <laughs> All right, so let's move on to, okay, KS Craft. You know, you guys know I'm on their design team, but I do order stuff from them as well. So I got, um, I got some of their new wax seal stuff. It just looks so pretty. And I've been wanting to try wax seals, so I figured I would try it with KS Craft stuff. So maybe I'll do a video of that once I get it going, but let me show you the supplies I got. 
I got this sealing wax, and this is a variety pack of different colors, and it's 100 pieces. There's pink and kind of like a teal and a white and I think like a darker teal too. So I figured this would be a good start to see how I like it. Um, I'll link these products down below, okay? So there's that. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I also got one of the melting spoon thingies. And this one has a pink handle. There are lots of pretty colors you can choose from. So, of course, I got the pink. It was either that or the aqua, but I got the pink. And then I got a handle for the seals. And I got pink again. And, I got, and then I got two seals. I got this one, which is, can you see it's like an apron? And it is an apron, and it's got hearts on it, or hearts around it, and hearts on it. So I, oh, I love this one. I can't wait to try that out. And then I also got another one, and this one is a stand mixer, and it's got some flowers on it too. Oh, so pretty. I hope I like doing this. So there is that. And then I got this little, like, um, I don't know what you call it, a burner maybe? I'll link it down below. So it comes in, or, or you can buy it in different designs, but I picked this one. And you put the little tea light under here and um, then set the spoon on top and it melts the wax and then you just pour it out like that. So I have a bunch of tea lights. I love candles. So I thought this would be kind of, I'm hoping it'll be a fun and relaxing project in my craft room. So. I'll keep you posted on how that goes, but those are the waxy things I got from KS Craft. I also picked up a few other things. I got this mix. This is a new shaker mix, and it's called like strawberry mix or something like that. Uh, again, I'll link it down below. Oh, look at that. It's got like a huge piece of clay in there. But um, anyway, it's got strawberries and hearts in pink and white, and then it has like these red balls. Oh, and it's got like chocolate hearts too. So very, very cute. I'm looking forward to adding this to some shaker mixes. I love having pre-made mixes. It just makes life easier sometimes, you know. Um, making my own is fun too, but it's nice to have a pre-made one. And I also got some embossing folders from KS Craft. I, these are so pretty, and I tested them out to show you guys. The first one is this one, and it's called Sunflowers. And I like that the centers, you know, they have like little seeds in them, but they remind me of buttons. So that's why I really liked it. And they've got polka dots in between and there are different kinds of sunflowers too, or different sizes. And this one's big, it's like a five by seven. And I uh, tried it out to show you guys. So it embosses really, really well. I used some like cream color pearlized paper that I uh, got from Walmart, I believe in a pack. So pretty, right? Oh, it just worked really, really well, and I love it. I can't wait to use this in some projects. And then I also got this one. This one's a little smaller, but it's so cute. It's like cross-stitch, and it does. it's not called cross-stitch, but that's what it looks like to me. Again, I'll link it. Um, so I don't know why, and this one was a little bit more expensive, like 20 more cents than this one. So I don't know, but it came out nice also, and this is what it looks like. It looks really like a sweater to me. Um, the little cross stitches are right next to each other, which really makes it look like a knit. So I like that a lot. I use the same paper and you can see the difference in the sizes. So, but so cute, love embossing folders. And sometimes I forget to use them, but I'm always happy when I do, because they add a lot to a project, especially, you know, just a, a nice texture without adding another color or anything. So that's always good. And uh, uh, I'll show you a project I made using this one as well once we get up to that. All right, so let's move on to Amazon. Um, if you remember last week, I showed you guys the strawberry wood beads I got, which were these. So I ordered a pack of like coordinating beads to go with that. And this just came in and this is called, well, I don't know, I'll link it down below. It was called like Colorful Mix or something, but these are 20 millimeter beads and there's 160 pieces. It was $12.99. So it comes with um, gingham wood beads, plain red, white, and natural. And it also comes with a few like, Nordic looking charm kind of things. 
Let me just find where those are. But they're wood also. And I think they're more for like a Christmas project. So yeah, these are um, stars with snowflakes on them. Very well made and painted. And there were some other ones in there too, but I don't plan to use them for Christmas. So I'll just save these for Christmassy projects. But I wanna put all these together to make a garland for my hutch. So of course I will show that when I make it. Hopefully I'll get to that very soon. Um, you know, after Easter, I will switch my decor to strawberries and lemons. So um, I just need it made by then, of course. So there was that from Amazon. It's always fun to order from Amazon. Uh, all right, let's move on to, um, oh, Macari and eBay. From eBay, no, yeah, eBay, sorry. I ordered this paper pad that I've never picked up and I've just been wanting it for so long. And then I saw uh, Tina, Crafty Bean. Hi, Tina, if you're watching. She used this paper pad in a project and I was like, all right, that's it, I'm finding one. So I did find it on eBay and it's called Gingham Gardens. A lot of you probably have it. It went on clearance at Hobby Lobby last year, I believe, but I never found it at my store. And um, I never found it at Tuesday morning either. But anyway, it's from My Mind's Eye and it's got beautiful, um, prints. I did use it already, but let me just show you a quick little flip, flip through of the different prints. So I like that there's a variety of plaids and florals, wood grains, just lots of different, oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, so gorgeous. Lots of pretty patterns that seem to all go together. It's kind of like Maggie Holmes in that way to me. Soft blues and butterscotch colors and corals. I used this one, so, and I also used this paper too. So I'll show you what I used. If you watched my KS Craft design team video that I just posted on Wednesday, you saw this card, but um, this is what I made with the Gingham Gardens paper. Well, the floral one and that butterscotch stripe paper anyway. So I love that color. This background, like sagey, greeny, gray color is from a new B Michaels paper pad. This stamp is from a new Lawn Fawn set with like spring sentiments all in circles. And then on the inside of the card, I added a little banner with that same paper. I cut out a uh, button out of paper and that's the back. So loving this, these papers and I'm, fine, I'm glad that I finally picked this up and it was only like $4 on eBay, so not too bad. Of course I had to pay shipping, but you know, it is what it is in that respect. So. I got a few other things from, uh, well, one other thing from eBay and one from Macari. So from eBay, I got this stamp from Stampin' Up. Isn't that cute? I'm sure it came from a set, I don't know what, but this was offered individually. And it's a cute little pie and like a jar of, I think peaches in the background. So I did use it and I'll show you what I made in a second, but uh, you know, it's really good condition. And uh, somebody wrote on it, but that's fine. So I got that. And then I also got this from Mercari. And this is a stamp set by Hero Arts and it's called Cook It. Uh, Joanne sells these kind of stamp sets in their store, but I haven't seen this one, Cook It. And this one, it says came out in 2010. So I, mean, I don't know if it's out there still or not, but it was only $4 on Mercari. And at Joanne's, these are like 18 or $20, something like that. So I thought it was a good deal. And these are all the stamps it comes with. So cute, right? 18 different stamps. I love this one. I made a little project with that just to show you guys. So there's an apron. It comes with an ink pad. I didn't try that out yet. And just so adorable. I love kitchen stamps. As you know, I'm wondering if I can use these on that Peddler's Pack uh, cook stove stamp. So I'm gonna try that out, see if it's the right scale. So let me show you what I made. I just made a couple quick little tags with those. This is the pie and the little jar of peaches in the back. Uh, I put a, a little bit of stickles on it just to make it look like a little, a little sugar topping on top of the pie. And I added that yum, that's from a Lawn Fawn stamp set that's new. And I just colored it with some alcohol markers. I stamped it with some salvage patina, distress oxide. Oh, and the back is that new embossing folder from KS Craft. I cut it out of uh, some cream paper. Well, I cut the die with using cream paper 
And with the embossing folder, I just brushed a little of that salvage patina on the raised part so that you could see it a little bit more. The, um, the tag was a uh, die I had in my stash. And then I added some twine. So, you know, very simple little tag just to demonstrate, but I could always add it to like a, you know, a package of cookies or something. And then I made this one too with that Hero Art stamp set, cute little girl with the baker's hat, chef's hat. And then I added Enjoy, that also comes from a different Lawn Fawn set, but I thought it went really well with this um, image. And I colored that again, added some stickles, same salvage patina, and then the same thing on the back. And these tag dies are from a Sizzix set that I think uh, Gina gave me. So thanks, Gina. So those are my little projects there. And then I wanted to show you guys, well, I went to Joann's. I had to pick up some quilting thread. And they had some, uh, like, flowers and stuff on sale. So I just got a couple of picks to go in that Hobby Lobby um, basket I got and remember I showed you guys the yellow flowers so I want to show you the finished project so these this greenery pick I got two of them they came with these like frosted or they're kind of like powdered they look like yellow berries and it comes with the eucalyptus or whatever that is and some ferns so I thought that added a nice touch to this bucket of yellow roses and the roses I didn't have to cut the the stems were just very bendable so I just bent them inside the little metallic basket from Hobby Lobby so I just got to figure out where to hang this but does that look pretty I thought it came out pretty cute so I just wanted to show you that and these were $2.99 but they were half price so um, that worked out well so yeah just you know wanted to give you an update on how that looks so I think that's it for today. Uh, not that long of a haul, but I hope you like everything that I made. I'm going to try to make a video for Saturday morning makes. I'm thinking I can do that. Um, maybe use some of my new stamps. So I am excited. So um, thanks again for watching, everybody. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed. I'd love to have you here. And of course, thank you to all of my faithful viewers and commenters. I love reading everything you have to say. And I do try to respond at least to my um, Friday haul videos. Um, sometimes my other videos, but some, it does get uh, very time consuming, which I, uh, but I read everything, of course. So thanks again, you guys. Have a great weekend. Leave me a comment if you'd like, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.